Hey, what's up everybody? Wanted to share with you a new item I just got in the mail yesterday. These are the Knox binoculars. You can kind of take a look at them also with a very fashionable neck strap there. Uh, so these are really cool, great uh, grippiness, good materials, really solid and a great price. Uh, we're gonna take a look at the unboxing for when I received these and then kind of break down the details for you so that you can know a little bit more about them as well. Okay, let me move some of my stuff there, other gadgets and goodies. So this is the box that they came in, pretty standard, you know, cardboard box. Um, some instructions, 8x25 power, standard issue, waterproof binoculars, little scrape there. This is actually the second set um, that was mailed to me. The first set never arrived. They got lost in the mail. Uh, and so Chris and the folks at Knox sent me this pair. Uh, they were super great to work with. And let's get inside and get ready to feast your eyes. Okay, so the inside's got some instructions. That's upside down. It's got some instructions for how to use it. Twist out the eye cups, dial in for each. Okay. Um, and then you know, the many uses of binoculars. That's excellent. So let's, looks like they're just wedged in here. Uh, we'll come back to that. There are instructions on the inside, if you can see that, for how to use your phone to take a picture through the binoculars. So we'll try that here in just a minute. But it looks like there's also a pouch, a nice soft bag here. Watch what you see. That's ominous. And then inside, I think this is a, a neck strap. However, I received a, a, a custom, one of their nicer Knox branded, uh, this is leather, I think, or maybe a nice vinyl. Um, and then a really cool, you know, kind of design textile there. Feels good, it's thick, it's almost padded. Um, so nice neck strap. Um, it's roughly three feet long, I think, and we'll, We'll put that on in just a minute. So, uh, oh, also in the bag is a lens cleaner towel. If you're like me, you have a dozen of those around the house. All right, so let's look at the binoculars. You can see this is the, uh, it's like a terracotta color. I don't know if you can really tell that against this kind of white table, but it's uh, it looks really nice. It's not bright. Um, it, here, here in Oklahoma, this looks a lot like our red dirt. If you're familiar with Oklahoma or East Texas red dirt, that's about the color of it. Uh, it's got their kind of logo there. Um, and then here, of course, waterproof, fogproof, standard. So one of the deals with Knox is that they are a tremendous deal. Like, uh, so these retail for oh, roughly $70, I think, um, and they really have the specs. I mean, the fact that they're waterproof is enormous. Um, I've got I have large hands, but these are like a good size, right? They're not, they're not too heavy. Um, it is like, it just feels good. These are connectors for the straps, uh, which we'll do in just a second. So first, if the box said to twist out those two, I guess you can adjust that way if you wanted to. And then you'll see on the two sides, um, really only this side has kind of that groove there. This side doesn't texture. And so this is how you really, it's pretty stiff, dial it in. There's a notch right there and a line. So maybe that's the midpoint. Yeah, I guess that's the midpoint. So maybe start right there and then put it up to your eye. In just a second, we'll... I'll get them dialed in for my eyes at least, and then I'll take a picture out the back window of my house here. So, so that's them. They are, you know, roughly, oh, that's about four inches, maybe four and a half inches by about that same, maybe five inches wide. And if you kind of bend them, you know, to how, it depends how wide apart your eyes are, but they seems like a pretty reasonable size. 
proportion, these feel a lot smaller than um, than binoculars I had when I was a kid, right? So for comparison, say here's a there's a GoPro um, just for size comparison, so you can kind of see it's roughly the the width of two GoPros. If that's I don't know if that's helpful to you at all, but here's a, a magic mouse, right? So it's about as however long a magic mouse is. Those those dimensions side by side. So um, now the strap. So this this nice strap that they that they sell um, on the end has the little slip connectors that you can push through. So they disconnect on each side. You squeeze them really tightly. There we go. And then the other one. And then you slip that down. And you slip that through. This is similar to most, you know, wrist straps or whatever on your phone or your iPod, if that's still a thing. Does anyone still have iPods? I have one, but I only use it to record audio. Very handy for that. All right, and then, so then let's see, I want to put it so that the color's on the outside. And you just click these in, which is cool. This way you can, you know, remove it if you don't want it, and you can just leave those deals on there. This is like a braided nylon. It's really, pretty, really strong. Um, and these straps look good. I mean, the way that everything is sewn, really great craftsmanship. I just love this strap. I want to get one of these for my camera as well. That's an outstanding. I'd wear a belt with that if I had it. So, all right. Well, so that's the Knox 8x25 binoculars in the terracotta color. Uh, and now let's uh, we'll take a look and see what they look like through the lens. Okay, so we're looking out the back of my house into my neighbor's yard, which is not at all creepy. Uh, and so I don't, it's about 50 feet to their garage-ish right there. And I think that's what we'll see it. So we've got the, this is the Knox binoculars. And if I bring it in here, you can see me for a second. Whoops. There we go. So it works. Well, ish. My hand is not very steady. I wonder if I can use two hands. Let me bring it in close. So in theory, if you had some kind of weird stand, you could. Anyway, you can see through it uh, pretty clear, right? Uh, I don't know. You can almost see over the roof there if I kind of pivot it. But all things considered, I think these are a pretty solid little set of binoculars. Again, they're so like small and packable. They're really easy to take with you in the car uh, or camping or wherever. You can put them in your back pocket almost. All right, so that is the Knox binoculars. Um, highly recommend. So these retail for $89. They are selling out all the time, so you can pre-order them. This is actually called the Flat Earth Color. So when, earlier when I joked that it looks like Oklahoma red dirt, I wasn't kidding. Uh, we have a flat earth, and it's this color. This is what you should get. So these are great. This is the uh, woven tapestry uh, neck strap. Um, it, they come in black and white as well as the multicolor, and it retails for $29. Um, highly worth it if you're going to be carrying them around your neck at all. The strap that comes with it is really pretty thin, as you saw. Uh, it's only, you know, three eighths of an inch wide, I think, and that would probably uh, kind of cut into the old neck there um, over some time. But great. Also, you know, a little drawstring pouch to carry your Knox in. Should really check it out. You can find them online at Knox Provisions. Uh, they're on Instagram, I know, because that's where I first saw them. Um, $89, multiple colors, black, green, red, and kind of a yellowish. Uh, you can pre-order them. They can, you know, keep them in your car, um, in your pocket, whatever. Great for ball games, should we ever get to go to ball games again. Um, or if you're out hiking, sightseeing, uh, really handy, not too big and bulky. These are not like, you know, these aren't going to um, bring the world closer from across the lake necessarily, but uh, just out there for most use, I think these are really handy. You never know when you're going to need binoculars until you're like out somewhere and you have them and then you're like, oh, check this out. I can really, this is really helpful. Uh, my kids 
uh, love binoculars. They've got some really cheap sets, and now I get to play with them. Um, but just like acting like you get to see what's up. So noxprovisions.com, check them out. Highly recommend, five out of five stars. I, if anything happens down the road, I'll let you know. Be sure to check out on my channel some of the other videos. I've got a bunch of, kind of upgrades and modifications to my 2016 Subaru Outback. And I show you how to put on those parts and, and a little bit about the parts that I've used. Check those out and then a bunch of other electronic stuff. Um, my home office here, I'm kind of a gadget hound. And so I hope that some of these are useful to you. Be well, my friends.